What I have for you is another unboxing video that I want to share with you guys on a new product that I got. It's called the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam from Logitech. Um, this camera has been around a while. It is not like a brand new item, but it's supposed to be a fairly good starter camera. It is a USB camera. I know that it comes with a six foot cord, USB cord, so you can plug this into your laptop, you can plug it into your desktop, as long as you have USB ports that are 2.0 or 3.0. So as far as a starter camera for like YouTube, and, a, and of course it says on the box Skype HD 1080p, and it also has down here at the bottom that it works with, at the very bottom here, it works with Yahoo Messenger, Windows Live Messenger, Gmail, voice, and video chat. So like I said, it's been around a little while, and uh, I did, you know, dug around and took a look at some reviews, and it seems to be a fairly good starter camera. And uh, if you're going to do like YouTube videos and that kind of stuff. Now, I received this from Amazon.com. And I paid $64.99 for it. So if you guys are interested, go to Amazon and check that out. You may find that it costs a little more than that. Um, you may be able to find it a little cheaper. So I would dig around and see if you can find it a little cheaper. But if you're interested in doing YouTube, Skype, and the features down here, then uh, this may be a good USB starter camera for you. Um, there are some uh, requirements for it. Before I pull it out of the box, I'm not going to do a... A review. I'm not going to plug it in and turn it on and do a, a review. I want to do a separate video on that. The only thing I'm going to do is try it on my little tripod over here, which is like a five inch to eight inch tripod. And it's supposed to work with this um, screw right on the bottom. And I'm going to try that. So before I take it out of the box, I just want to go over the box real quick with you guys, give you an idea of what it looks like. If you look at the camera as it's in the box, you can see you got your um, stereo microphones on both sides there. So there is the C920 uh, HD Pro webcam. Down here it says it's full HD 1080p, uh, video calling and recording. It's supposed to take 15 megapixel pictures, so that'll be interesting to see. That's pretty good. Uh, Carl Zeiss lens with 20-step uh, autofocus, and of course stereo audio with dual mics, and uh, H.264 for, for that part of it. The... Uh, compression, which is probably about what everybody uses. Um, QuickTime uses this, the Apple QuickTime player. So that's the front of the box. And of course, down at the bottom, again, you can see what it works with, which we already covered. Let's just jump over here to the side of the box here. There's the specs, um, if you guys are interested. And again, this unboxing video will probably help you out if you're interested in buying it. You may not, you may see something on here that is not interesting to you, so you won't end up purchasing it but it's seven we'll go down this quick it's full hd 1080p as you can see um uh, works with the latest version of skype for windows 720 hd video calling um, full hd video recording uh, uh, logitech fluid crystal technology that is supposed to be something that um automatically uh, i think it adjusts frame rates and helps with color and sharpness or something uh something through logitech so it's supposed to be able to provide you the best picture quality. Of course, H.264, uh, there's the video compression, which is probably about what everybody uses in the whole planet. Um, the 20 step autofocus, the dual mics, the automatic low light correction, uh, the high speed USB 2.0, and of course, USB 3 ready, tripod ready, clip. And it also does have a clip on the camera when I pull it out. We'll take a look at that. Fits laptops, LCDs, or CRT monitors. So that's interesting. I don't know who has a CRT monitor, but... Um, so there's the software. Um, the software controls, like when you install the software, you're going to have these functions available to you, like pan, tilt, zoom controls, video uh, and photo capture, face tracking, motion detection, okay... So, and uh, possibly there may be some updates. So if you actually receive the box with the software in it, it's best to go to the manufacturer's website, which would be Logitech, and look for the software and download the latest software. Okay, so let's just flip the box over here and we'll go over the back. Give you a chance to look at that and read that. Again, it just pretty much goes over um, the same things that we just covered but if you want to pause the video and read through that, 
we won't waste too much time. And then there is the uh, very bottom. Okay, so over on this side, we also have some more specs. And there you can see how it compares to the C310 and the 615. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to pause the video and read through that, I'm not going to stay holding it here on that screen. I want to get into unboxing it. But let's uh, take a look at the bottom which is kind of important also because here's where you have your system requirements. Okay, this is something to consider before you buy this. So you want to make sure that you're, we'll just cover it from the top there, Windows Vista. You want to make sure you have Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Now this will work, it's 32-bit or 64-bit. Okay, you just need to have a USB port. And it, it says here what's in the box, which we're going to pull out. The webcam comes in the box, 6-foot cable, the user documentation. And again, it says what you need. And there you can see it says 32-bit or 64-bit in Windows 8. So for HD 1080p video recording, you need at least these specs. Okay, you need a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo uh, processor, 2 gigs of RAM. You know, you need a, a fairly good-sized hard drive to uh, save your recorded videos or however you guys want to do it. Um, over here, there is some more stuff it tells you h264 video recording requires installation of quicktime player so there may be a few additional things um, other players work with a with this 264 so but something to keep in mind you may have additional things to download in order to use this uh, for it to run fairly good um, so one nice thing about it here it says two-year limited uh, hardware warranty so the hardware it seems like it's fairly good uh, hardware um, I guess I'll find out once I start using it. But here is your recommended requirements for your full HD 1080p and 720p video calling. I'll give you guys a shot of that right there. So maybe with me reviewing the box like this, it gives you a chance to kind of have hand, you know a look at a hands-on look here at what you could get with this. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package. We'll take a quick look at it. Like I said, I want to try it on my tripod there. If any of you are interested in buying a tripod to use with your camera. Take this thing out. Let's take a look here. Okay, so this looks like this just pops off. And there you got some user user documentation, the setup guide, um, the info on the camera, and that nice little package. And then we have the camera itself to get out. This just probably pulls out of there. Look at that thing. And then we can get this camera right out. All right, here we go. So there is the C920. Let's see what that says there. Carl Zeiss Tesser, HD 1080p. So you have your speakers, you have the camera, we have some plastic on here, and there is our hole to put the stand in, the tripod. So let's find the little tabs. Here's one. Get the plastic off. So you can see it comes with uh, plastic on there. And this folds out. That's pretty cool. It's pretty uh, stiff, so it, it feels like it's it's fairly well constructed. Okay, get rid of that. I don't know if there's any across the the face part here. I don't see anything. So then here's your USB cable that you get with this, and this is six foot, so pretty good long cord. Okay, so here is the. Uh, the clip, and then of course you can, I'll, I'll put it on the tripod though, but I th think you can almost probably get this thing to just stand up, like in one spot. Yep, it'll stand up, so that's pretty cool. Um, take a look at the back. So there's kind of a full review of the uh, camera. Let's try it on the tripod here. I'm sure it'll fit um, with no issues here. So, yep, goes right in there. Perfect. So, 
so there you go you know you can put it on a tripod this is a it's a five inch to eight inch tripod so this would be cool for doing some unboxings whatever you guys want to do um, the camera still you know you can see that it swivels there so that's about all you get out of that and it goes all the way back of course you can do it that way too so you, you got a little bit of uh, options there a few options okay so that's pretty much it guys the next interesting thing to do here would be to get this thing hooked up the software installed I don't know um, if there's additional software, I, I mean, maybe you don't have to use Logitech software with this. There may be additional software if, if you know, you don't have luck with the software. I don't know how that's going to be. My next uh, video coming up, one of my videos coming up, is going to be a review of this camera in action. So we can actually see what the colors are like, how it, how it records audio, and everything like that. But again, for a little starter camera, not a bad... Uh, not a bad, not a bad looking camera. Like I said, it's a fa fairly good build to it. So, had a lot of good reviews. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, let me know, know what you guys think. Uh,